Hello, friends, and welcome to another Popper League. Today we're bringing it with Bogles. We're going to be uh, playing a bit of Hexproof. And this is actually the list that won the Showcase Challenge. And uh, the only deck list that ended up serving me up uh, any losses on that day. So we're going to pick up uh, Dissonance's Bogles deck. And one of the things that uh, stood out to me right away uh, was that it's not playing any copies of Ram Through. Uh, instead, it's playing a full four copies of Cartouche of Solidarity. It's playing an extra Heliod's Pilgrim. Um, I think some of these lists only run three Ledge Walkers, so it's ticking up on that as well. So it's it's uh, got a lot more of the... Um, the consistency of the base plan going on, but uh, missing out on the flexibility of Ram Through. We'll see how that uh, affects our play. And then also, we've got three copies of Young Wolf. I've seen a lot of lists running only one, as well as the full four copies of Standard Bearer and Crimson Acolyte. So we're going to be well protected from red, uh, which can mean Fiery Cannonade. And we also actually have Fiery Cannonade ourselves, so if we're looking at a, uh, a mirror match, for example, um, we've also got uh, Calming Verse, which is pretty good there. And of course, you know, like standard bearers, basically like GG against uh, Bogles. So if we can Fiery Cannonade to get that off the board, then um, that could save us. We have one land, but we have a Slippery Boy. I think we keep this. Secluded Step. Deathblade Elite? Gross. Oh, that's so awful. So we're playing against Heroic, the other Aura's deck. So when the Cartouche onto the Trailblazer, I think they should just go ahead and trade their Deathblade Elite for our Bogle here. Yeah, that looks like the plan. They have their big creature. No legal target. Oh, that's right. So they can't provoke our creatures. Because we're hexproof, chat. Duh. So you have green and white, so I'm thinking Abundant Growth and Ethereal Armor. No land. You got a 4-4, four, four. can't reasonably attack though. I guess we're just going to have to pass. Well, 4-8 easily attacks past my Bogle. Oh, and Ethereal Armor. That's going to be a lot of damage. Coming in for 8. No blocks. Really need a land here to get this Armadillo Cloak. Gain some life back. Oh, damn. We do get Ethereal Armor. So we can go Ethereal Armor Rancor. Could go... They don't have Trample. So I think Cartouche, so we can block this once. Although they'll just have Deathblade Elite to uh, to stop me. We 
We could go white, white. We don't have to go green, white. Okay. So in that case, I mean, we don't get trample, so we can't do damage to them, but we could put uh, cartouche, cartouche down so we could get two creatures and then we would have a blocker. Aina Umbra. So if they can give their Trailblazer protection from white, I think I'm dead. Because the methods they have for that do not remove the auras. Okay, so yeah, that's... Uh, actually, that one would remove the auras. So their creature is small now. <laughs> the shame scoop. Love to see it. All right, so we bring in Standard Bearer and Calming Verse. Yeah, opponent uh, was pretty excited to see that they had protection from white. They saw their creature had enough power to kill me in one hit. But um, because I think uh, they shortcut their protection from white to just think like it's not going to kill their auras. Because the other card they have in their deck that gives protection from white leaves the auras intact. That, that's just my assumption though. Maybe I should have been bringing in uh, Cannonade here for their flag bearers or standard bearers. Have to mulligan this. We have no lands. Uh, we keep this one. All right, don't do anything too crazy, okay? It's just turn two. Just chill out. No, 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 no. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Okay, just the one thing. Just the one thing. Okay. No problem. No blocks. And then we'll just put two ethereal armors onto the standard bearer.
Oh, target creature you control gains protection from the color of your choice. Okay. So they can't give my standard bearer protection from a color and then enchant their creatures. Got a 5-5 five five now. Uh, I don't think we bother attacking. They can eat block pretty easy. We'll uh, be able to start attacking next turn when we put Ancestral Mask down. I hope somebody uh, clipped the Benevolent body Bodyguard giving uh, Trailblazer protection from white. That was a special moment that I think should live on. Thirteen, thirteen. Let's go. Benevolent blessing. Okay, sure. So this creature just has protection from white. So they can't block it ever. Oops. And I can put Rancor or Mask on it. But that also means that they can start putting their uh, auras onto their creatures since this is protection from white. Um, they can no longer target it with their regular stuff. So they can start... Uh, suiting up their trailblazer again. Yeah, no blocks. What do they have in hand? Oh, shoot. I was supposed to play Cartouche there. I forgot that the Ancestral Mask was going to uh, grow my creature. I could have got an extra two damage in there. Um, we are still going to play the Cartouche, even though it makes me look stupid. Uh, I think that it's still better to play it there than um, not play it. Because now we have blocks for their stuff. But yeah, they should be at 10 instead of 12. I'm um, sure I can take two damage, no problem. Yeah, that's right, Mixlash. Playing the deck that uh, ended up defeating me at the showcase. Put down another standard bearer. So if you have any auras, you better cast them. And we win the match with a double standard bearer. We find our flag bearers. The opponent does not find theirs. Brawl is interesting. So I think I want to go Sprawl Scout Rancor. Oh, 
I think it's fine to have only access to one white mana. That should be fine. And then next turn we can go mask. Oh, they're not tapping down. Um, it's game one, so their counter spell is probably prohibit. I think I still want to go for the mask. Oh, but the Utopia Sprawl getting countered here would be bad. So I don't think we can play the Sprawl, because uh, they could prohibit the Sprawl, and then we can't mask. Yeah. Alright, so last time we played against Satan Rake, and we didn't... Uh, bring any sideboard cards in, and I don't see that changing, honestly. <laughs> Just try it, you will hate it and love it. Ah, uh, yeah, we keep this. Play a scout. Get a Bogle. So we can play another Abundant Growth or we can play another Scout. I think I would like another Abundant Growth. Get another draw in. See if we can find a good card. And it pumps up the mask for uh, later. Imagine Mana Tithe. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, okay. So if they have Negate, they can counter the Ancestral Mask. I want to play the Cartouche first. Okay, that resolves. Oh, they're not scared of that. Um, so if they have Prohibit, the Mask resolves. But if they have Negate, they get to get the Mask. I think we have to go for it. They do have the negate. Damn. Um, we can't reasonably even attack. Okay. Oh, and they get the negate back. Damn. Yeah, once they're able to bring those negates in, they, uh, they're just way, way better. Because, yeah, we know they have negate for the cloak, so what are we even supposed to do here? We attack in, they kill a bunch of our creatures. It's not looking good for this game. I think we'll probably go to game three in uh, a minute. See if I can draw a second spell. So they're going to counterspell that. They still have negate up. Yeah, okay, that's... Uh, is that a good game? They can still only cast one counterspell. So we could get a second good spell here. I think I needed an actual good spell. So they have the Prohibit. Oh, and 
they still have the mana up for negate. All right, let's try again. Uh, keep this. Are we going to be able to get the mask down under and negate? That's the question. I like this. Got a 5-5, five, five. doing some damage. So we got a good attacker. That's step one. We don't have Trample on it yet. Trample is important. And they also do have um, access to white mana. I mean, obviously. So they could have uh, some method of removing our auras. Not yet, though. And they're tapped out, so we're going to be able to play Cloak. No reason to attack in with the Slippery Boy. It just gets easily blocked. Alright, so we got Trample, which is a big deal. Um, most of the things we were scared of were counter spells, so now they really need to find aura removal, which they won't have nearly as many uh, copies of in their deck compared to counter magic. Again, no reason to attack with anything other than the uh, trampling scout. We'll play the ledge walker afterwards, though, or will we? They'll have to block. Okay, I like this block. So that means when we play the ledge walker, if they counter it with prohibit, they won't gain any life. Just blooding the board here so I can get the a little bit of extra damage in. Yeah, they did have the prohibit. Okay. Got it out of their hand anyways. They have Ephemerate. Okay, so that's tapping their white mana. Which is how they're going to deal with an aura. Yeah. We beat Satan Raken. Okay, we got a little bit of uh, justice, revenge, whatever. Satan Raken defeated us last league. Uh, this is a keep. Island into Preordain. Yep. Fortunately, we're going to have the Ethereal Armor down before they can counter it with a Spell Stutter Sprite. Alright, so they're holding up Counter Spell here. I think I might want to just play Ledge Walker instead of throwing the Armadillo Cloak into a Counterspell. 
and Ledgewalker doesn't get Spell Stutter Sprited, so if I can waste their mana, that's fine. And then I can play the Tree Line. Oh, that's wonderful. That is so good for us. We bait out the counter spell with Ledgewalker. We could play Scout. I don't think the opponent is going to have any way to punish us if we're only playing one creature, though. I'm just going to play the Tree Line. I don't think they're going to have any kind of Edict effects. Okay, so they're playing... Um, I might have uh, thought they were on a different deck. Uh, I think we're actually playing Familiars again. Just going to go ahead and put that out. Attack, F6. Your go. Do you have an answer to my slippery boy? Our Kaomancer's not going to do it. Ah, uh, you're tapped out now. So, uh, if I drew basically any aura, they were just dead. But they get another turn this way. I think we're still just going to win this game, though. I don't think that opponent has any real answer to what we're doing. Yep. And uh, I don't think we're going to be sideboarding anything, because we didn't uh, sideboard anything against Satan Raken. So let's just resubmit. And uh, we'll try to play around negate as much as we can. Uh, opponent's going to have a lot of counter magic, so we're going to want to get our stuff down uh, early and then just work off what we can do in the first two turns. Um, once we get to uh, turn three, we're in danger. That's where the opponent's going to have mana to be able to counter whatever we're doing. But uh, yeah, we'll see what we get and how we can play through. I'm not a huge fan of this one. I mean, we do have uh, Cartouche turn two, but that's not very good. I'm going to mulligan this. I like the ethereal armors. If we can get a land, this hand is pretty good. Uh, no, not only familiars, but... Odds are, Satan Raken will be playing Familiars if you play against them. I've seen them play different decks. They were playing the uh, the Popper Lotus Petal or uh, Lotus Bloom deck for a while, whatever it's called. <sighs> no land. Uh, I think it's was the deck was called Market Festival. Angelic Renewal. Oh, I see what we're playing against now. Okay. Good draw. So we're playing against Evoke. A similar deck to Azorius Familiars. Uh, this is the deck that um, Snap Bolt plays. Like all these tap lands. They're holding up Counterspell now. Ah, uh, Counterspell is actually pretty good against us. Um, they're going to be able to just like counter our Ethereal Armor and then we don't have anything else to do this turn. Um, I think we still play it though. 
We have another ethereal armor and had it resolved. Wow. Okay. Maybe they have something else. Should I be even more scared? I should have been even more scared. Celestial Flare. GG. That's the second time we've seen that card today. Absolute beating. Celestial Flare. Never expect to see it. But with Bogles becoming more of a threat, it uh, makes sense why you would play it. So we need to draw a creature right now, or I think this game is over. The game is probably over regardless, honestly. Let's go to the next one. Uh, good enough. Especially with the cartouche to potentially save our Slippery Bogle from uh, a certain fate. Okay, no double white, but they do have uh, counter magic up. So we're going to play the cartouche into their counter magic. Swing in because their sacrifice spell costs uh, double white, not white blue. And then we'll play Glade Cover Scout so we get an extra creature so they can't make us sacrifice the Bogle. They're going to counter this one. Actual counter spell. Okay. Figured for sure they would counter the Cartouche of Solidarity. Mold Drifter evoked. Great. They're dead. Oh, they go to one. Oh my god. Not quite dead. Alright. I mean, it looks pretty good for us, though. They get a, an untapped draw, but I'm pretty sure we're getting through this. Stonehorn Dignitary. That's That could be the way that they just win the game if I never get a combat again. The difference between 1 and 0, right there. Stonehorn Dignitary saving the day for Parallax, but not quite enough. They didn't have the uh, the Ephemerate loops, so I was so scared of that damn Rhino. I thought for sure it was just going to ruin our day. And um, an extra Pilgrim. Island. Alright, we should be able to get our... Uh, ooh, Utopia Sprawl. You don't say. We'll play that. Uh, give it for white. And then hope that they don't have a four spike. Nice. Alright, so we should uh, be able to resolve something next turn. We'll see how they... Uh, how they play their turn two. If it's just island go, we're a little bit scared. Okay, I'm a little bit scared. Another Ancestral Mask. I think we go Ancestral Mask and then we can put Ethereal Armor onto the Ledge Walker. Maybe we go Ethereal Armor first and then play Mask. And if they don't counter Armor, we can just play Ledge Walker. Oh, 
spell. This is bad against spell stutter spray. Okay, it's actual counter spell though. So this is good for us. Nice. Opponent immediately concedes to our Ancestral Mask. Um, so we've only seen Island Island Counterspell. So we don't know what flavor of, uh, of Counterspell deck they are. But there's nothing in our sideboard for Counterspell decks. So resubmit. I'm wondering if maybe we should have some copies of Dispel. Pyroblast? Absolutely. We're already playing a red card, so why not Pyroblast? Plan is so linear, you can't add bad mana. Oh, I mean, this is a pretty obvious mulligan. I'll keep this one, though. Get rid of a forest. So we'll bring the forest over here so it's nice and close. Uh, is Red Elemental Blast legal? Yes, it is. Any card that was ever printed as a common is legal. Except for the ones on the ban list, of course. Oh, a cartouche. That's interesting. I think I still want to go up Brundon Growth Ethereal Armor. So I'll play the Forest, Abundant Growth on the Untapped Forest, and then Ethereal Armor. Maybe play around Curfew? Oh, so I should play the uh, the Cartouche? Yeah, that's fair. We can play around Curfew, so let's do that. Alright, so Chantry tells us that it's not a traditional control deck, it's not fairies, it's either Evoke again or Familiars again. Okay, we're playing against Familiars. So they could have Prohibit or Negate. I think I want to play the Cartouche first, see if that resolves. They'll probably let this one resolve, because it's not a big deal if we get this. Okay, they're going to prohibit that, so we get to cast Ethereal Armor now. Oh, looks like they're tapping out. Oh, for Revoke Existence. Oh, damn it. And they have uh, Counter Magic up again. We're going to go for the Mask. If they have Negate, they have Negate. Nice. They don't have Negate. They'll take the damage. Our Kaomancer gets Revoke Existence back. So we need some form of Trample, or they'll be able to get rid of our Mask. We could put Mask on Warrior. But then if they have Snap, that's bad. Maybe I'm just supposed to play Ledgewalker. But if we play the Ledgewalker, we can't play the Mask. I think we play the Mask on the Warrior and attack with both creatures. It's really bad if they have Snap, though. I don't think they would keep Snap in their deck, right? 
Oh, they do have the negate. Uh, do you just take six here? No, you block with Archaea Mancer. Okay. Makes sense. You wouldn't want the Warrior token to be lethal. All right, all right. We're a little bit underpowered now. We need uh, some more auras here, please. Mortuary Mire gets their Archaeomancer back, which can get back Revoke Existence. And we miss. Well, let's play these Ledge Walkers. Maybe they can get some damage in. Opponent doesn't exactly have a ton of life right now. What do you get back with Archaeomancer? The Revoke Existence again? Makes sense. Just like one of your best possible cards. Uh, Revoke Existence is a sorcery, right? I'll uh, check that in a second. It is a sorcery, okay. Yeah, there's a Revoke Existence again. Alright, so if we attack with everything, they block, block, block. And they only take two anyway, so we might as well only attack with the Ledge Walkers. Um, might as well play Scout, I guess. Might be able to get that extra point of damage in now. No way! <sighs> that sucks. What was that, like a 1 for 4? A 1 for 5? Yeah, GG. Oh, and they have snap. Crap. All right, we're conceding here. Good game. Good game, sweet. Hey, morning, handsome. This hand is okay. It's good enough to keep. It's not great. We get to play a Bogle on turn two with uh, Cartouche back up. Oh, sorry, I didn't... I don't know what's going on. Why isn't chat working? Ah, there it is. Uh, for some reason, the chat box moved, and I didn't even realize it. I'll adjust that a little bit more when... Um... Yeah, I, I adjusted the chat size when I was playing Dark Souls, but I didn't realize that it was going to adjust it over here as well. So the chat has just been like off the screen the entire time I've been playing. Fantastic. Thanks for bringing that up, handsome. Oh, yeah. Now, I figured since Popper Bogles uh, managed to crush me in the uh, the tournament, um, the showcase, we're going to give it a shot ourselves. So let's see here. We can play the forest, Utopia Sprawl the Forest, name white, then Glade Cover Scout Cartouche.
Oh, this is pretty good. You're dead to Chalice on one, you're right. And when you're right, you're right. But they didn't have Chalice. I mean, in a sense, the mix Slash, it was down. It was uh, down below where the, uh, the webcam is. Good start. Revoke existence, okay. That does slow us down quite a bit. Let's see what we get on top, because they are tapped out here. Ah, just a scout. Oh, well, smack for four. I'm wondering if I'm supposed to keep the scout in hand. Look, it's toast apple juice. Squeeze some toast in there. Wow. I think I leave the scout in hand. I'm scared of holy light. Another Chantry. Ranker. Okay, that's a good one. So we can Ranker the Scout. And smack them for five, put them to four. Kaomancer gets back Revoke Existence. Yeah, the record is hiding too, but that one's not my fault. Alright, so they block this, block this, take two. How exactly can a wall be a familiar? I don't know. I guess, you know, you're hanging around it all the time. You got to be pretty familiar with it. Um, so they, I know they have the revoke existence. I wonder, what's the mana cost on Holy Light? Okay, so they could revoke existence, the cartouche, Holy White, kill all my stuff. So I don't want to play into that. Yeah, there's a Revoke Existence on the Rancor. Okay, so they don't have Holy Light. Ooh, Pilgrim. Let's go get Rancor. Well, 
Looks like they have uh, prohibit, not actual counterspell. Okay. Uh, so we're going to attack in with the scout. They're going to have to block. I want to play this scout as well. So we're just going to put that into play while we have the mana floating. So they have to block this and they'll take one. I guess they could have ephemerate here, but they still have to block this. The spirits of fallen battle mages can serve their serve their guilds as familiars by joining with any physical form. All right. So they join forms with the castle. Uh, they're going for preordain. Okay. Looking for something to answer what we're doing here. And I mean, we have two white creatures and this is... Uh, not going to die to um holy light i guess they can just get the revoke existence back now uh they probably want to get the ephemerate back and then they can get the revoke existence back and still cast it but they need to deal with everything that i'm putting down here so let's see how they uh decide to do it start with the preordain i can actually have six here I have no action on their turn. I'm tapped out. Brainstorm, yep. So their preordain was two cards to the bottom. Really looking for something. Yep. Digging pretty hard. God Pharaoh's Faith was a really good one. Allowing them to gain some life back. And they're going to preordain here. Okay, so they gain one life. God Pharaoh's Faith was a pretty good one for them. It gives them a block on this one. Oh, and Ghostly Flicker. That's so good. Uh, they get back Preordain, gain another life, go to four. So they can kill my Warrior token, block this, and they only take two. Oh, Rancor. What a good draw. Um, so what do I put Rancor on? the? Like, this seems pretty obvious, I think. We just put it on this. Attack all. Yeah, I figured it was worth the extra 5 to 10 seconds just to make sure that this is the best target for it. So they still only take 2, but their uh, God Pharaoh's Faithful is dead, which is pretty great. Now, they do have Ephemerate for Revoke Existence, so they can get rid of the Rancor. But again, you know, we've got all these creatures down, and uh, they're at two. Okay, yep. Yeah. Ephemerate on the Archaeomancer. No surprise. Uh, returns Brainstorm, so they're digging with Brainstorm here. Oh, they found something. There's Revoke Existence. So they found a Revoke Existence with a Brainstorm. There's a Familiar. They have two cards in hand. Oh, we draw another Rancor. They have Negate. Okay. Uh, we just attack all here. And I think we win. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm not interested in this hand. No creature. No land. This one's bad too. Oh no! Is this our worst possible matchup? <laughs> 4-1 today, friends. We did really well. We got the 4-1 today. We're still going to play as hard as we can, but I have been uh, making scoops early for, uh, for this. So if it seems like, oh, well, you weren't dead yet, but I was going to die in, you know, five turns, I'll pick it up. We've still got a little bit of play to this, but um, this is a deck that plays Edict effects. So they actually have removal spells for our creatures. Um, yeah, this is an absolute worst case. Fortunately, we do have Cartouche's Solidarity. So if we do get a creature down, we can play the Cartouche, and um, maybe we can still do something. Who knows? But, I mean, they also have Pestilence, Crypt Rats, so many ways to punish us. All right, let's see if we can get something going here. That's the best uh, we could possibly hope for. So um, untapped land on top would be really good here. Uh, Rancor or another Ethereal Armor would be really good on top. I think second Ethereal Armor would be the best draw than Untapped Land. That creature draw was just the perfect timing. We needed it right there. Okay, we're we're we might be doing it, chat. We might be there. Um, I think, do we go for the mask? I think we go for the mask, right? Because that's, uh, plus four. Ethereal armor is just not good on our mana. Armadillo cloak is pretty good, but yeah, I think mask is just the best thing. Wow. We might be doing it. Now, don't get too excited yet, chat. Um, they could have double edict, removal spell into edict. Uh, there's still a lot of ways for this opponent in particular to, uh, to end our run. Thorn of the Black Rose. Um, we have first strike. We just don't attack with warrior now. And we put Armadillo Cloak on this, so we want land. No land? Okay, we'll just put Cloak on it, I think. So we can get the Trample and take the Monarch. Cast down on this, yep. Uh, if they have the Edict, they're good. But we do still have, you know, like, Slippery Boy Ethereal Armor in hand. So, maybe we can play through an Edict? Ooh, the Duress to take the, uh, the Ethereal Armor. If they have the Edict, I think we're dead. Crypt Rats. Oh, Crypt Rats is not an Edict. They still got three mana. They passed it back to us. Okay. Uh, this is still not lethal. 
So they get another draw step. But we'll play... Um, do we play another one of these creatures? Yeah, we do, because then they'd have to Crypt Rats. They have to block with Thorn. Okay, we put them to one. We gain a bunch of life. And then we play Ledgewalker. All right. So now they have to use Crypt Rats for one and Edict. Yes. Cannot believe we won that game. That is ridiculous. Oh, it's not going to get... Uh, okay, well, we got a bunch of young wolves, so that's really good. And I think that's all we can bring in reasonably. Standard Bearer isn't very good in this matchup. Hydroblast does nothing. Cannonade does basically nothing. We could bring in Calming Verse. I don't think that's very good. I mean, like, it hits their Pestilence, but it's not very good. All right, so the Young Wolves are amazing in this matchup. We just got to take three cards out. Uh, Ledgewalker actually seems pretty good. I think I'm going to take out the Pilgrims and a Bogle. I want to keep all the Cartouche of Solidarity. If we don't want to take out the Bogle, what would we take out instead? I think it has to be Bogle. We got a bunch of extra creatures, so taking out the three creatures is kind of like... I don't know. Going down on creatures is... Uh, not exactly the best thing in this matchup. One land hand with Utopia Sprawl. I think I'm going to keep this. Oh, they have Duress. Ooh, they can take our Utopia Sprawl. Not good. Fortunately, we have Abundant Growth to redraw, look for that land. Yeah, that's the take. All right, do we find the land? We do. So we can play Ledgewalker turn two. All right, so we have to play the Ledgewalker here. If they have an Edict, they have an Edict. But if they don't, we get to play Cartouche Rancor. Damn. I didn't want to wait for another... Uh, for another land draw. Oh, there we go. There's a card. Young Wolf. Let's go. And then we can play Cartouche Ethereal Armor. They probably would have taken out the um, like any targeted removal, so they probably don't have cast down in the deck anymore. Another sprawl, so we could put sprawl on here, name white, and then go ethereal armor cartouche. Isn't better cartouche rancor, is it? The Ethereal Armor is going to do more damage than Rancor. Yeah, yeah, that is true. That is true. If they kill it, we get the armor back, but I'm betting that they don't have um, cast down in their deck anymore. 
So it is a gamble, but it does more damage this turn. So instead of doing four damage, we're doing seven. Yeah, a little bit greedy. I, I'm I figure that they probably would have taken out targeted removal. Okay, Thorn, we but we have first strike and we have trample. So we're doing pretty good here. Blade cover scout. So we're just gonna armadillo cloak on here. I guess we could Rancor Cartouche. And that would actually do more damage. Hey, Eli, what's up? I'm 4-0 right now. I'm just going to take a minute to consider this play. Uh, with Rancor Cartouche, that's uh, 3, 4, 5. Uh, 5 plus 7 is 12. So it's not lethal, but I think that's still probably the best thing to do. We can just go Cartouche Rancor. Twelve. Um, I, do we send in with this token as well? It's an easy block on the token. Yeah, yeah, we don't. Because they're going to keep the thorn. Yeah, they won't block here. They're just going to take the damage, go to three. I do want to play this Glade Cover Scout, though. Because if they're sweeping the battlefield, it's through damage, and then they're not going to have anything left to take care of this. F6. We did it, chat! The curse is broken! We broke the curse with Bogles! Text proof is the way! Finally! It's been so long and we've finally got the proper trophy! Oh. Thanks for being here, everybody. Oh, that is wonderful. Okay. We can trophy and popper. We did it. All right, so played a couple leagues with Bogles today and uh, really, really excited about finally breaking the curse. Uh, that was a pretty great time. And it was also interesting to see how swingy the, uh, the leagues were. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, you would have only seen the, uh, the second league, the trophy league, but uh, I did play uh, a league before that where I went 1-4. So we're playing the exact same deck and we had uh, very, very different results. And I mean, that makes a lot of sense with a deck like this where your worst enemy is basically yourself, your own draws. Um, so yeah, we got incredibly lucky that uh, that second league, but I also felt like we tried to play around some of the... Uh, the problem cards, like the four Cartouche of Solidarity, were really, really nice. And then having the three Young Wolf in the sideboard for that last match, um, I think was clutch. A lot of uh, Bogle's decks that I've seen have only had the single Young Wolf in the sideboard. So being able to have three to draw to um, meant that we were able to, uh, to stick that threat. Um... Now, I didn't personally build this deck. This is uh, a deck list that I copied from Dissonance, who is the uh, the winner of the showcase challenge that I got sixth place in. Um, actually, Dissonance was the only player in that uh, competition to serve me up any losses. 
So that's why I picked this deck up and i um, definitely glad that I did. But that being said, um, I didn't play with the deck list at all. So there are some things that uh, maybe I might like to change. Like I'm not sure that I want four Crimson Acolyte. It would have been nice to have a second Hydro Blast um, in the board. But it all worked out this time. So hard to complain about that.